That's where you start seeing on the, like the other end of the continuum or the low end of the continuum, you have video, uh, which uh, video or just eyeballing diagnostics, as I mentioned, is for tools in clinical use. Um, but they're also prone to error because you, yeah, you have to position the, 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 the camera in the right position, you have to get the right distance. Um, and when you're in the pressure of a clinical scenario, it's diff difficult to replicate. It's also worth mentioning that there's recently been a, quite a, a surge in these what we call AI computer vision based apps. You might have seen them floating around. Um, they're flooding the market for gait and ladder system motion tracking. Um, you can use it, yeah, you can use a smartphone and there's algorithms that will spit out some nice joint angles and kinematics of say a person running past. But what physios need to be aware of is that these systems often lack these biomechanical validations. Um, and they, yeah, it's many of the apps are kind of, how do I say, repackaged, yeah, repackaged approximations, uh, which is, it's, it's, they're fun to play with, but it's difficult to deduce or make, refine your clinical reasoning with them. So yeah, we, we bridge the gap between the two of these types of things. We like to extract the, the best parts of what's practical and easy to use, uh, and affordable. And then on the, and then also, yeah, merge that or marry that with the, the science validation.